graders. I'm Mrs. Atkins. Some of you know me from last year. We are going to continue with second step lessons, even though we're learning virtually. So in these lessons, we will continue to learn how to calm down when you have a big feeling, how to be a good friend, and how to use empathy, which means thinking about how other people feel. We're going to start by talking a lot about how to be a good learner though. So that's what our lesson is about for today. Okay, now we're gonna play a game it's gonna be kind of strange because we're not in person, but this is called Think, Turn, and Tell. So we're gonna practice listening to one another respectfully. That means looking at the person and thinking about what they're saying. So what I'd like you to do first is first think of your favorite animal. That's the think. So think of your favorite animal right now, okay? Now, I want you to think about what is it called, what color is it, and how would you describe its size? Okay, so think about how you would describe your favorite animal. All right, now we're going to pretend like we are in person, even though we're not, and I'm going to tell you about my favorite animal, and you're gonna practice looking at the screen and thinking about what I'm saying and then you are going to share, and I will pretend like I am looking and listening to you. So I'm gonna go first. My favorite animal is a polar bear. Polar bears have white fur and black skin, and they are large in size, all right? So if you listened to me and looked while I was talking, you just did a great job listening respectfully. Now go ahead and share your favorite animal, what color it is and how big it is. Thank you for sharing. I hope it looked like I was looking at you and listening to you because I want to listen to you respectfully just like we are teaching you how to listen respectfully to each other. Let's look at this picture together. In the corner, we can see part of a student. She's wearing a pink sweatshirt. Her name is Sita. She is explaining how to count the edges and vertices on a triangular prism during a math lesson. The other students are being respectful learners by focusing their attention on Sita and listening carefully to what she's saying. To focus attention, use your eyes to watch, your ears to listen, and your brain to hold your attention. This helps you concentrate and ignore distractions. Look at all the children in this picture. Their eyes are on Sita. When their eyes are on Sita, it looks like they're also thinking about what she's saying. They also have their mouths closed, which means they're not talking. They are listening. Focusing attention and really listening to Sita are helping these students to learn. They are also showing Sita respect. Today, we talked about two important skills for learning. We talked about focusing attention and listening. When you use your eyes, ears, and brain to focus on the speaker and think about what they're saying, you become a better learner. Focusing attention and listening also shows respect, and everyone deserves to be treated with respect. In your next lesson with your teacher, try using respect and focusing attention by looking at the teacher, sitting quietly, and thinking about what they're saying. All right, third graders, thank you so much for watching. This is the end of our video. 
If you would like to stick around, I'm going to play the music video that I would normally show in person. But if you need to go, that's okay, you can log off. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the rest of the video. Focus, focus, listen, listen. Use your self-talk. Be assertive. Focus, focus, listen, listen. Use your self-talk. Be assertive. Focus, focus, listen, listen. Use your self-talk. Be assertive. This is the way we all can learn. Use eyes and ears and brain. Now you listen. Make sure you listen. Use 